Hello, people of the internet, and welcome to this third video in my Spar of the Dragon playthrough. Uh, last time we completed one of the first actual levels. This time we continue on to the, uh, I think it's the Dark Hollow. And we're going to go through that pretty quickly here and continue on with Spyro. Alright, welcome back to you. this next episode in the Spyro uh, game here. Uh, we are going to go on to, I think it was the Dark Hollow this time, so we'll get right to it there. Uh, let's see, what do we got this time? We got a hundred and then three dragons, so let's kind of get right through here. Those guys have shields, so you can't breathe fire on them, you've got to hit them. Oops. Ooh, all right, blue. Gotta like that. At least he's not hurting me. There we go. Oh, jeez. Kinda just flew around there. Alright. And looks like there's a key. Oh, come on. There's a key in this level. Sweet. And I always forget that there's these little one gems down in these between these little things here. So you know, a lot of times go through the whole level and then just be missing like one or two. And that's why. Jeez. Oh, Keep forgetting that the camera. I can turn the camera with the L2 and R2 buttons, but it's different than what you would think. You push L2 to actually look to the right, and R2 to look to the left. A lot of PlayStation and PlayStation... I don't know if any PS2 games did it, but I know PS1 games did that because they didn't have the uh, thumbsticks back when the game, or when the system first came out. They didn't have the actual analog sticks, so you had to use the trigger buttons to turn the camera. That was the normal for, uh, for back then. It's only a hundred gems. This is going to be a pretty quick level. There's only a hundred. Oh, it's We've already got two. Oh, no, this is a third dragon, I think. So we actually already threw this one pretty quickly. Metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. No, that's the second one. Okay. For some reason, I was thinking that was the third one. What happened to the music? Oh. It does that sometimes. You'll find that, uh... You'll find that the music sometimes just stops. Different uh, atmosphere there. Ah, oh, I fell right off the edge. I didn't jump. I need a frog too because I need to get, which is weird because you get to kill a frog and a butterfly comes out. Well, just like the sheep, you kill a sheep and a butterfly comes out, which is kind of odd. Oh, and I totally messed up my camera angle there. I don't think we've died yet. I mean, we've only done three levels, so I don't think we have, but... Uh... Let's count zero right now. Hit that guy, come on. Thumbsticks aren't... Uh, the right thumbstick isn't that precise. But it works. It works. We'll do this. 
That should be all the gems. Sweet. Big enemies like this Gnork with the club cannot be charged. But a quick flame, that should defeat them. That was another quick level. We're, we're burning through these pretty quick. We're turning home. So there we go. Yep, we got through that one. We'll go save. I think next we can. Oh, let's get these two. Why not? All right. Next we'll do uh, the place over here where the this dragon head will uh, will open up. Should at least. Yeah. See, there it is. I think this is one of those. Yeah, this is like one like the boss of uh, this little land here. Um, and then eventually, once you do have enough statues, which I think I have enough now, uh, gems and stuff, you can take a hot air balloon and uh, actually go to the next uh, land or whatever. So, anyways, thank you for for watching this uh, the third video here in our Spyro playthrough. And uh, next, we'll continue on to uh, I don't know, maybe we'll do Toasty, maybe we'll do something else. But regardless, we're gonna keep on going and. Uh, if you want to stay up to date with what I'm doing, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, like uh, like Spyro, uh, go ahead and give uh, a thumbs up. It is greatly appreciated. And uh, again, thank you, and as always, keep on gaming.